the role of IT technician varies uh, depending on the company, but generally speaking, uh, that will involve some sort of uh, technical support. So you're helping your users if they have an issue with the laptops or application, uh, you'll be the person that they'll contact with and they will do uh, troubleshooting or solve the issues. You don't need to resolve all issues. Uh, some of the issues you may have to pass it on to a specific department or team. Uh, so that is called escalation. And also you may be involved in a project. So it's not just a troubleshooting. So if there's any uh, office uh, upgrade or uh, hardware upgrade, you'd be involved in the upgrade process or any maintenance work. So it varies, but uh, you'll be working no specific type of uh, field or technology, but you'll be working more generally across the IT. So you, you'll gain a lot of experience as IT technicians. To become uh, an IT technician, it is a difficult question. Where do we start? Um, if anyone done the job search, uh, many of the jobs or opportunities, uh, they ask for experience. But uh, you know, if you are starting your career in this field, how are you going to get an experience? So at Equalius, what we do is not we not only provide your training, but also we do have a partner companies that will provide uh, our learners a work experience that you can put into your CV, so that um, you can use such work experience as your professional experience as a CV, so that it will massively help your opportunity to get in a role and also having a qualification or professional qualification uh, drastically increases chance of you getting the job. Uh, after becoming an IT technician, as I said, as an IT technician, you'll be working broad range of uh, technologies. You might be working with a network, or you might be working with uh, desktop or servers. So it's up to you, depending on you, which field or specialized field that uh, uh, you find it interesting. So if you are interested in a server field, then you can move into the server field. If you are interested in the network, then you can become a network engineer or maybe cloud or cyber security. So uh, possibility is endless once you are in the field. Right, the tech industry is booming right now, isn't it? Yeah, uh, because uh, past few years, uh, many businesses have gone through a process known as a digital transformation. So that they are using technology as a primary driver to bring the business forward. As opposed to in the past, we used to use the technology or computer to aid business process. But with a digital transformation, we are using a technology as an opportunity for the businesses. Therefore, I don't see this trend uh, going away anywhere soon. So more businesses are going through this digital transformation process, there are more opportunities for the businesses and yourself to get involved in this exciting field.